I worked at ResCon Technologies as a software engineer intern, and I worked on one of their projects involved with um, using an inertial measurement unit in order to predict the position and the orientation of a craft. And to do this, I was using the ResCon's own machine learning techniques. We actually gave him uh, a baseline project to investigate a part of machine learning that we've never looked at before, which was really uh, excellent for both us and I think for him as a learning experience. My first day was a lot of reading and catching up, just getting up to speed on the different projects that ResCon does and learning a lot more about how they do machine learning and just a lot of other scientific topics that they're involved with. I can see how people would be intimidated by asking to, to really forge a new path and he completely kept an open mind and, and just went after it. Um, so I was really happy with just how independently and like kind of self-motivating he was. We would have morning meetings and we'd each get like, I'd go out and set out to do something and I had a lot of freedom with what I could like figure out or try for the day. Um, one of the things I was working on was simulating um, inertial measurement unit data. And so I got, I got to go out on my own and look for um, open source simulators to make that happen. What he learned in overcoming those challenges is just that mindset of really digging in and not giving up because he constantly ran into roadblocks. And since we were in a virtual environment, you know, there wasn't someone over his shoulder to constantly give him direction. So he had to, on his own, figure out how to, you know, sidestep side step any challenges or roadblocks that he found. So that overall mentality of just never give up, just having the grit and perseverance to keep pushing toward the goal, um, you know, that's gonna serve him well, no matter what he does. There's a lot of different things you can do with entrepreneurship to make money when you're starting out. And you don't need something physical, like a physical product. You can do something with software or a mathematical technology like machine learning to get going with your company. Without the funding from the, the Wolstein internship program, we would be way behind on our current project. So Tommy came in and really laid the foundation for uh, for us to be able to start and, and be ahead on, on the project today. This was my first time um, having the opportunity to do a software engineering internship. So I just got to learn a lot about just programming in the workplace as opposed to on school projects. Thank you to the Wolstein family and ResCon for helping fund and support my summer opportunity. I think what I learned uh, was to really just be working in how to work in a professional environment. Uh, so how to, well, first off, the technical skills of like technical writing, um, how to draft proposals, what kind of research to do, and then drafting proposals, you know, the six grant proposals and just uh, trying to get that funding, trying to do the best job, you know, to beat out other small companies. Ghostwave has four patents licensed to us from The Ohio State University on radar technology. Dan's primary focus was grant writing. Uh, Ghostwave has very little uh, investment um, from others, uh, other institutions or from other investment funds. And it was o overwhelming at first, but um, just working in that environment with you know people like Dean, uh, answered all my questions, helped me really understand what my position there was. And it wasn't just like I needed to understand the concepts down to like the fundamental level, more like how can I implement my business minor specifically and my engineering technical skills and reading, writing, understanding, problem solving. Uh, how can I implement that uh, working for Ghostwave? Yeah, I, as somebody though, doing this now, when I was an undergrad, got an engineering degree here at MBA, we never wrote grants. And getting into the startup world with smaller companies, it's a big deal. There's a lot of money to be had. And I think it's a skill set that if you go into an interview uh, as a new engineer and say, oh, by the way, no, I wrote six grants during this internship program, it should make you stand out from the other candidates, at least from a small business type perspective, that's, that's a good skill to have. It kind of changed my perspective on like entrepreneurship. Like it doesn't take a lot to, let me rephrase, it does take a lot to start a business, but it doesn't take as much as people think. I think it just takes an idea and a lot of work. Dean, I respect him because he had the guts to start Ghost Wave. 
for three years, we've had interns from the Wheeler Wolstein program, and they do a great job of um, bringing in people who are interested in entrepreneurship. And they said the ones we've had have just been really rock solid. And that there's something about that scholarship program that kind of you know, ties the others together, I think. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's, it's a, a good chemistry that comes out of the scholarship program. I think that their kind of characteristics, their personality really influenced me in terms of like, wow, like that's something I can do. If I really have a great idea or if I really want to do something, make my own business. It doesn't have to be big, but it can be anything. It's possible as long as I put in the time.